Let's tie a slick water caddis. We begin with a Tiemco 2488. This is in a size 12, which you're looking at. The thread we're using is Uni 17 aught white. And tie the thread in behind the eye of the hook and bring it back to just above the point of the hook. Now we're going to tie this in brown, so I've got some brown chenille and I've tapered the end of it by running it past a flame. Now I like that body to extend out, oh, probably twice the length of the shank of the hook. Lash that to the top of my hook. Make sure it's centered on the top of the hook. Now I'm going to take some EP fibers or Congo fibers, and you can use tan, I'm using tan here, sand or beige, depending on your preference. But you can use EP fibers or Congo fibers. And this will be my wing. And I like a bundle of about a uh, thickness of a graphite pencil, <laughs> or two times the thickness of a graphite pencil. And tie it in at the same point, and wrap down the rest of that, those EP fibers. Don't want to build up too much behind the eye of the hook. I do that all the time, just like everybody else. Now I'm going to trim it off the wing right to the to, oh, pretty much evens up or matches up with the length of the abdomen. Now I have some parapost material. And this is in fluorescent orange, and I'm going to tie it in at the same point I've tied everything else in. And once again, I'm going to trim it to about the length of the wing or length of the abdomen. You could probably cut back on the amount of parapost material you use. I mean, just a half of that would have worked just fine. Now my hackle is a grizzly hackle in brown, size for this specific hook. So you see how I cleared off some of the fibers off there so I get a stem? And I make it a little bit long because on that first wrap I want it to be able to come over. I have a clean base to work for it. And then I'll just lay, lay down concentric wraps and bring it to the front of the, front of the hook or front of the fly. Now you'll see that this is a really bushy fly and it's great for skating across those slick water areas. I tie off my hackle and I leave all that area there, that's going to be the head of my fly. from off the hackle. Now you'll note I got a bunch of those hairs sticking out into the eye area, but I'll take care of that in a second using my half hitch tool. Or you could just burn them off. This is just happens to be easier. So you get a nice clean head.
and trim off my thread. So I'm going to take a marker and just touch up that little bit of white thread at the front end. And that's my slick water caddis.